Hey kids, today we're going to talk about um, making some fun backgrounds with, um, we're going to use masks made out of paper. And what I'm going to use is the KI Paper Lace. It's a 12 by 12 sheet of paper that is die cut. This one has flowers on it. We also have some with numbers and there's some with um, flourishes on it. It's two bucks a sheet and you can do so much with it. You could use it just like a regular background or you could um, use it for a partial mat of a photo or something. Um, but what I thought I'd do, I'm kind of inspired by Tim Holtz and his crazy inking stuff. So I thought it would be fun to play with some ink and some paint and see what I could do with um, using this paper for a mask. So I made three cards and, um, and I used just regular card stock that was solid colors. This is a pink and brown one. And then I, um, I created backgrounds on each card, as you can see. And here's, here's a bright color one. There we go. And I used, um, I just used different inks and paints for, um, for the backgrounds in combination with this die cut sheet of flowers. So, I'm going to try to do this like one minute per background card. Let's see how far we go before my camera cuts off. And wherever I cut off, I'll take back up in a second video. Okay? So the first one we're going to do is this quick and easy pink and brown card. You see, can you tell the background? It has like, um, it's like a, um, a floral type foliage looking background. And then we put that big brown flower on it with a button. Um, really easy. I took my pink paper, my card stock, let me get a little closer into the middle here. There we go. And a brown cat's eye ink pad. Y'all probably have one of these, right? And I laid my piece of white paper on top of it, took my brown ink pad, and blobbed it all over it. Blah, 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 blah. Pulled it off, and ta-da! You have this background. Pretty cool, huh? So that was really easy and it was fun and it gives it a different look. Um, the second card, this brown one here, I thought it was kind of cute. It has a, kind of a masculine feel to it. Can you see it? I can't decide if it's blurry or not. Um, I did something different with this one. I cut a piece of this paper lace. I cut this piece right here that looks like a little fern stem. And I got one of these rollers. It's a brayer. It's an inky roller is the one that I have. It's made by Ranger. And I adhered that little piece. Okay. Anyway, like we were saying, I adhered a piece of that fern paper to the roller, took the roller, and ran it across a color box ink pad. This is really fun, gooey ink. You can get way messy this way. Um, once I got it on my brayer, I took my solid color brown cardstock and I ran it, oh I did it this way, I ran it up and down, up and down, up and down. And by doing that, it actually leaves that fern pattern on the back of your paper. Pretty cool, huh? Then I took, um, and then I just wanted to embellish it, so I grabbed some basic grade chipboard. It's from the Mellow line. And some buttons, little jar buttons that I have. These are um, my mind's eye. And I glue dotted the buttons on there to look like little leaves. And I'll probably put a little greeting on it and send it for a masculine birthday card. Um, finally, we have the bright orange and yellow card. Um, this one, um, I took the mat, I mean, the white paper again. And this time, instead of going with the the stem florals, I tried to pick out some that looked like sunshines and things because I wanted this to be a bright, cheery hello type of card. So I did the same thing that I did on the first card. I laid this over my orange card stock, but I only laid it over a little bit of it because I didn't want the full effect this time. I didn't want the whole background done. Grabbed my, um, my yellow ink dauber. It's kind of like a bingo dauber, but it's ink. It's acrylic. And it's by Ranger also. Um, blab, 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 blab. Daubed it on there. Pulled it off. And this is what she looked like. Grabbed some black letters out of my stash. 
Grab some of this delicious Lux ribbon. Made a bow, slapped it on there. Yay, I've got a card. So, pretty easy, huh? And all of that was made from stuff from my stash in my scrap drawer behind the counter. And um, one piece of paper lace. Now I could take the rest of it and I could paint it different colors or ink it or use it as backgrounds or do whatever I wanted to with it. And there you have it. Pretty easy, huh? So that was fun. Got a little messy. I think I need to go wash my hands now. So have a good day. Bye!